what we have, a bit like a motor car. A motor car, you have ignition key, we have a, what we call a master key. And on the 101s, it goes in there. And nothing works till you, you switch it on. That red thing there is the emergency brake. Uh, you just lift the handle up, collapses the vacuum and the brakes come on. That's a handbrake, just screw it down when we leave the train for any length of time. That's our brake, uh, service brake as we you might call it. That goes in like that. That's the lap position there where Norman was on about, where that slot is. So that's fully on. The other side of the lap is taking it off. So you would put so much brake on, bring it back to lap, and it would stay there. It would neither increase or decrease. And then you would play with it, either put a little bit more on if you want, or take a little bit off, you know what I mean? Uh, that's the one that takes a bit of getting used to, but that's what we call our reverser, or we nickname it the spoon. <laughs> that goes in like that. Then you get F for forward when we go in that direction. If you want to change directions, you have half a reverse. That's our gears. First, which is as far as it will go, second, third and fourth and neutral. And it's where that arrow is, not where the black handle is. That's the horn. That's our throttle. One, two, three and four. But it's also the DSD, the driver's safety device, or dead man's handle sometimes. Isn't it? So what you've got to do, you see the gap there, just pull it towards you and it'll drop down. And you've got to hold it down all the time. It's just, it's just a slight pressure, you don't have to press hard on it. And if, if for any reason it comes up, you have seven seconds before the brakes come on. So you have plenty of time to put it back. If you fall asleep. If you fall asleep, that's the idea of it. Or if you take an eel or anything, your hand comes off and the brakes come on. Just light, headlamp. Uh, when we're going in that direction, we need a headlamp on. We need white marker light, which is like that. Uh, then when we're going that way, we need red marker light. So we've got to put it down to red and switch the headlamp off. This panel here indicates how many engines we have running. As I said today, we, on, we only have two running out of the four. When we put our key in, these will light up. Oh, yeah. So that, that tells you how many left-hand engines you have, and that tells you how many right-hand engines you have. These buttons here, that starts the, the left-hand engines, that starts the right-hand engines, and that stops all the engines. That's our rev counter. So the engine's sticking over just over 400 revs. That's our speedometer, yeah. as a maximum today is 25. This here is for the brakes. That's what we call the high side. It's like a, a, a vacuum reservoir, if you can have a vacuum reservoir. Yeah. And this is the one that goes up and down as you brake it. That one, that's your brake pipe. And that's, it. that's our compressed air. Yeah. And the compressed air runs between about 75 and 90. We have our buzzer, that's oh, oh, the that's communication good. between the guard and the driver. And we have a code. As soon as the guard's ready to set the train away, it would go buzz, two buzz, 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 and the driver has to reply so the guard so knows he's heard him. So he'll go buzz, buzz like that. Yeah. Uh, and then he can go. So that's about it. We'll have a quick look uh, outside, have a quick walk around and show you one or two things, and then away we go. Them's here are only connections. The screw coupling. The big big hoses are the vacuum hoses for the brakes and the smaller hose is the air pressure for air, compressed air, and then the electrical what we call jump leads. They each have about 17 pins in them. That's your brake cylinder so you can see how big the piston is inside and how heavy it'll be. It pushes the brakes on, that big thing there. It's just vacuum and does it. That's the top of the outer cylinder and the piston's inside. It's a heavy piston as well because we have had them out. Brake locks, we can keep wearing out and changing them. They're about £12 each, and there's 16 on each uh, carriage. So you can see it adds up soon when they're worn out, it adds up. 16? Yeah, 24, 16. That's your diesel tank. There's one for each engine. That's an air tank, just a drain tank. Three P valves, you know the valves, that, the electrical valves that open and let the compressed air through to the control. That's the one. They get fed by electrically and open up and let the compressed air through. Never for the gearbox. You want 
beach gear, the ones in here for the throttles, and they change direction. So there's, there's uh, six in there and four in there. They're all the same, they give, they give very little trouble. What's your radiator? That radiator is the engine at the other side. That's your little engine. Horizontal, then fast. It's a flywheel, full of oil. Yeah. That's the ring gear you started with. That's your ring gear and that's your flywheel. The dynamo. And here we have what we call, we call it the BIS. Battery isolating switch that turns off all the electrics apart from the lights inside so the cleaners can go in at night and clean a bit. Isolates all the engine electrics. That is a fire warning system. On each engine there's a wire that runs along the top. If the engine catches fire, heats it up, shorts it out, and the bell rings in the driver's cab. And on the morning when you're prepping, prepping, you're supposed to test it. You press that button, that lights up and you can hear the bell ringing in the, in the cab. If an engine stops, we can't get it started. We've got to isolate the final drive, because if we don't isolate it, it has happened. The wheels are still turning the gearbox and it overheats them and seizes them up. So we have a big long rod with a hook on the end. And you see that thing there that I have the light on? Can you see it? You hook that with your hook, pull it out, half turn it into them slots. And then you get in your cab and you move your reverser from forward to reverse. And as the piston moves along, when it gets into the middle, that, that drops into a notch. It holds it there so that the wheels can revolve freely and they're not turning the gearbox. And that's what we call it. Right, we make tracks. Right, so press, I don't have the program, but I take it you do. Press your DSD down. Right, what? Right. Push it right back up into the corner to the windscreen. Right, right back up, yeah. Push and it then pull it slightly towards you, and it'll drop down. That's it. Pull it down, but you just need slight pressure, you don't need yeah. the hard pressure. Um, yes, it's the way to your arm, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Right. Okay. Uh, put it in the first gear. That's what should do. That's all the way forward, isn't it? It is. Can you manage, yeah? And then let your brake off very slowly. Just see if it'll come up. Just, that's it. It's a little bit shorter back here. Oh, that's right. I'll let it right off now. Yeah, right round to me. That's it. Oh, that's it. Mm -hmm. Throttle back. On again. And again. A bit more. Right back. Right two. back. Yeah, right back round. You can go right round to four if you want. That's it. Okay. When the needle gets right up to near, nearly top of the gear, yeah, they'll knock your throttle right back and then wait till it drops into the black before you change gear. That's it, and you can go straight okay. into second, yeah. Whistle board, blow your horn. Throttle up again. And when we get near this crossing, just give another blast on the horn because yep. it's a bit of a large one. Sorry, push it. You have plenty of time, yeah. We're in the 25 here, so you're all right. You can uh, just give another blast on that. That's it. And when the needle gets up again, throttle off and wait till it yep. gets in the black. Right, throttle off, wait till it gets in the black, and then into fourth. So we're up to 25 nearly, so just let it go on its own. That's it. The next thing you'll have to do, you'll have to brake.
quite cool if actually. Oh. Websites a bit. Oh, right, right. Computers, video work, you know. Well, Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. 
we need to be down to 15 shortly to go in the loop. We'll go through the loop. Yeah, put it in here, sorry. Let go of your DSD. Change your... Uh...